impossible dream to fight the unbeatable foe to bear with unbearable sorrow to run where the brave dare not go yesterday i posted a video on my channel it was entitled swiss indo where is mr sino's money I've had a number of interesting reactions to that video, and I wanted to read one to you. This comes from a poster called Keto Fox, who says, Your video, Where is the Money?, is a question that many are asking. He goes on to say, Ron Van Dyke, in his video blog for today, explained why he had deleted some comments from what he calls persistent critics of Swiss Indo. Ron says, one wanted to know, where did the money come from? And Mr. Guido Fox wondered, was that me? Fox says, and I quote, my comments weren't really hostile. I was just asking legitimate questions like, where is the money? And when will it be handed out? And if no money is forthcoming, what is the real purpose of this effort? Sorry to cut to the chase, but I think most people who are not in the delegation might be thinking those very same three questions. Mr. Fox goes on. I am a bit peeved that he deleted my comment. It seems like he is trying to block any legitimate questions. Therefore, I feel I must say something about how I view Ron Van Dyke. I see him as the man of La Mancha and he even looks a bit like him. He is so, so desperate for change that he ignores any truth that gets in the way of any possible cause which he sees as positive. The result is Ron Van Dyke lacks discernment. In fact, he seems to have negative discernment, steering towards noble causes that are impractical and will not stand up to research and scrutiny. There's a long list of such things he has backed. The RV, Tim Turner's Republic, OPPT, Heather's Bank Documents, and now Swiss Indo. It is a long list of failed causes and likely failures. So my new rule of thumb is, if Ron Van Dyke backs something, there's an excellent chance it will not stand up to research. It's a pity. The man seems to have a good heart, but he needs a more critical brain to go with it." Unquote. That's what Guido Fox has said, and I agree with his comment. Let me say more. Ron, we do not hate you. We love you, brother, but you are an impractical and quixotic soul. You ignore way too many truths in your desperate quest for a brighter future. We all need to ask hard questions, and we need solid research into the claims that people make. Ron talks about Sino's money coming from some ancient sources. I could believe a few million, or maybe even a hundred million from that source, but not the trillions and quadrillions that Mr. Sino is claiming. It is totally impossible. Where would he store those huge sums? My earlier video does the mass and provides calculations. And the real man of La Mancha should do the same. Even so, we all love Ron for his positive intentions. And so as a tribute to him, I will read some of the lyrics of the song. This is my quest to follow that star, no matter how hopeless, no matter how far, to fight for the right without question or pause, to be willing to march into hell for a heavenly cause. And I know I'll only be true to this glorious quest, and my heart will lie peaceful and calm when I'm laid to my rest. Good luck to you, Brother Ron, but please 
do the research, and do the mass. You owe that much to yourself and to your dreams, be they possible or impossible. And the world will be better for this That one man, scorned and covered with scars Still strove with his last ounce of courage To reach the unreachable star